Hello, welcome to Forest Learn. This video is an intro to a series of videos on the topic of electromagnetic or EM induction. EM induction is generally acknowledged to be one of the most challenging topics in A-level physics or similar courses. Part of the difficulty stems from the concepts of induction being quite abstract, but also there's just a lot of different phenomena in induction. And the challenge is to find the way to organize your understanding into a coherent framework. Shortly, I'm going to explain how I've broken the topic down into chunks that can help you organize your understanding. Before that, it's useful to take a brief look at the history of electromagnetic induction. Up until the early 19th century, electricity and magnetism were generally viewed as being quite distinct phenomena. This changed in 1820, when Hans Christian Ørsted discovered that an electric current in a wire gives rise to a magnetic field around it. This was a major discovery, and others very soon started investigating the newfound connection between electricity and magnetism. One such person was Michael Faraday, who in 1831 demonstrated that a magnetic field could create, or induce, an electric current. Faraday discovered a variety of different phenomena that we today file under EM induction. By 1865, James Clerk Maxwell made a revolutionary breakthrough in physics by unifying electricity and magnetism into a set of four equations that are now known as Maxwell's equations. But that wasn't all. From these equations, Maxwell arrived at the astonishing prediction that light itself is just an EM wave, a wave consisting of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. Maxwell thus predicted the existence of an electromagnetic spectrum, and over the next 30 years, radio waves, X-rays and gamma radiation were all discovered, thus verifying his predictions. So let me now explain how I've broken the topic of induction into chunks. Throughout this series of videos on induction, I'm going to refer to three different types of induction. The first type is what I call cutting field lines. Type two is what I refer to as flux changes in a loop. And the third type of induction is what I'm calling the overlap. It's the overlap of types one and type two. I'll be discussing examples of each of these types of induction, as well as discussing prerequisite knowledge that you'll need to understand the different types. For example, the concept of magnetic flux. Please note that this breakdown of the topic into these different types of induction isn't usually how the topic is presented. I'm unaware of any resources that follow this presentation. However, as I mentioned earlier, these chunks will be useful in helping you to organize your understanding into a coherent framework. Part of the challenge of induction is recognizing which type of induction a particular phenomena is. So in the next video in this series, we'll get started discussing type one, cutting field lines. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it, subscribe to the Forest Learn channel if you haven't already. And if you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you soon.